So this journey began about 12 years ago, uh, on April 1st, 2007, to be exact. Uh, a, a, the article uh, was written for the LA Times, which arrived at my house. Uh, I opened it up, started reading. Uh, it was written by a, a former Salt Lake City librarian named Chip Ward. Um, Chip uh, has written a, a couple of books. He's known now more as, as a, a conservationist and activist uh, and lives off the grid in Utah. But at the time, he was um, retiring and the essay was about how uh, libraries have now become de facto homeless shelters and how librarians are forced into being first responders and basically all the things that they didn't go to library school for they're now uh, uh, they're now in, in you know in the process of of, of being in the middle of uh, in 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 their public library and so i was inspired by the story i was certainly moved by it and i had done the bulk of my research for bobby at the downtown branch of of lapl um, but i wasn't convinced that it was had gotten as bad as chip ward was talking about so i went back to the library started walking around and in fact it was uh, and i over time, I started to imagine what a story might look like if the patrons decided to stage an old uh, 60s style sit-in, how the media would react, how politicians would spin it, how law enforcement would, would react, and would they continue to criminalize the poor, and, and how ultimately we would unwind it uh, finally with the script that we shot using nonviolent civil disobedience as, uh, as a way to, to diffuse the situation.